what is up you guys it's your favorite cutie mail and i'm here to talk to you guys because i just went to an awesome garage sale i got so many items and i only spent 23 dollars for the actual stuff and then i got myself some croc charms and some croc charms for my son trace because he he mentioned he wanted croc so when he comes back i'm gonna get him some and i already got him like some charms i know that he'll like because he likes Rubik's Cube. So I got him one with a Rubik's Cube, one Spider-Man. I'll show you guys later. But um, I went to two garage sales today and I just stumbled across them. I think I'm attracting them now because I've been watching so many garage sale videos and thrift videos. So I was able to get some really cool stuff. So stay tuned if you want to see what I got and um, how much I think I'm going to be pricing them for. So right now I'm about to drop off some stuff at Goodwill. Um, these are items that I don't feel are really... Um, worth taking the time to put up on my shop from the stuff that i originally um uh, picked up and uh i want to get rid of it because i just think it's smart since i kind of i'm getting more of the gist of ebay now and the kind of stuff that people on ebay find value in so um some of the some of the clothing items that I have are just not really worth much on eBay and it's not really something that's super sought after. So I decided to save myself the time. And it's a small bag. It's like maybe 10 or 15 items. Just stuff that I don't wear anymore and somebody might want at Goodwill, but wouldn't necessarily pick up on like eBay. Typically people go on eBay to get things that they really value for cheaper. So like the key to it is to have some valuable brands or just stuff that um, is desired on the platform. So I feel like this is just smart. Um, I follow through on what I said I would do and pretty much list everything else. And I have this small bag that I'm about to drop off right now. All right, you guys, that was a success. I dropped everything off. So I am going to head home because um, I feel like I want to list. Um, things were moving slower in my day than I anticipated. Sorry, you guys, my phone overheated, but um, basically my day is going slower than anticipated. So I think I'm going to head home early to get listed. And it's kind of crazy because I'm kind of excited. Like this is my first haul since, um, this is my first, no, it's not, let me see, is it my second? I think this is like my third trip to like um, Source since I started my shop. So. Um, it's kind of cool because I'm kind of getting into other things that I normally probably wouldn't. I also got some stuff that I feel like my son might like in case some stuff doesn't sell. So it's just like it's not like a waste. Um, my son um, is only 11, but he likes anime. So I picked up a whole bunch of anime things today. Um, anime hoodies, anime shirts. I also got some really cool like NBA gear um, with tags um, that I feel like is going to go. Um, and sell super well on my shop but we shall see all of this is so exciting because it's kind of like a guessing game but um i do suggest that if you guys do live in a place where people do yard sales um and it's like a city you should try to go to some because it's worth it because easily for what i paid um the garage sale that i just shopped at i would have easily paid i know for sure at least 50 to 65 maybe even 70 to 80 dollars depending on like if there were sales and stuff going on at the savers or the goodwill because i got some really quality items and you know when people are at garage sales for the most part they're just trying to get stuff off of their hands it's just like that step right before going to goodwill they just want the stuff gone they want to see what they can get for it they'll pretty much take whatever unless it's something that holds some type of sentimental value for them or they themselves see it as very valuable or they just are really strapped for cash and they're trying to really go for the cash but most garage sales are super chill and i'm super excited to do this more i'm having a fun time because it's kind of like shopping for the world like i'm not shop i'm a personal shopper for ebay i'm an ebay personal shopper so i'm definitely gonna put those items and stuff i'm gonna show you guys we're gonna do like a whole haul and i can't wait to to get home to do it but i should focus so i'll i'll see you guys in a couple minutes more like a second for you. what is up you guys so um let me just show you guys what i got i finally made it home it's a few hours later i've been doing some other stuff running around making money and um i want to end this vlog by showing you guys what i actually got so i'm gonna start with some stuff that i'm gonna keep 
um, I got these little crop charms. I am so into Crocs and uh, my son asked for some Crocs. So uh, I'm like collecting charms for him. So when he gets back, I'm gonna give him a pair. So I got him a Kobe one, this little game, um, Spider-Man and a Rubik's Cube. My son loves Rubik's Cube. So I started him off with those. Oh, and then I got him this one, these little, uh, nike basketball shoes i should have got if they had red i would have got red because he actually wore these shoes to atlanta today then i got myself two extra charms i got myself a reptar because i used to love the rats, and then i got myself a selena um charm so that's just for fun <laughs> so that's not going on inside or anything just on my crocs and then on my son's crocs so now let's get into some real things okay so um i got this nike air shirt um, it is a size medium. It's just a regular Nike tee. Nike um, is supposed to sell well on eBay. You know, it's just, if I was a guy, I would probably buy mine off eBay because literally, let me get it for cheaper. Um, I got this anime shirt. This is a Hero Academia, My Hero Academia shirt. It's new with tags, so that's nice. And the cool thing about all this stuff is I could actually afford to get it because she literally only charged me like 20 bucks for the whole thing. Um, I pretty much grabbed not all of it, but a decent amount of the anime stuff because, you know, there's really a crowd for that. So um, I got this champion shirt. This is another anime shirt. I see if it says anything on the back. Okay, so it has the name and all that definitely going to look that up because i don't know much about it but i did like i was googling at the um not googling but i was on ebay searching up some of the items that i was finding to kind of see which they were priced for and after i sell one or two of these shirts i already paid for everything so um i got this marvel hoodie there's really a crowd from marvel um, I got another anime hoodie. I just feel like these are so nice, right? And I got all of this for so cheap. Like, if I was to get this from Savers or Goodwill, I would have had to easily pay, um, definitely over $50. Okay, and then I got this. Um, this is another anime hoodie. And it's nice. Let's see. Size medium, so... I saw this one on eBay too, so I decided to. This one is really nice. This is a hype land uh, collaboration with Yu-Gi-Oh. I think this one go really well on eBay. I saw some really good uh, comps for you. Uh, hype land and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is like its own situation. Okay, I kind of got this for myself. I'm not gonna lie. I got this. It's like a, a Ghostbusters onesie, but I also wanted to put it on eBay because I'm like, I wonder how much it would sell for. Um, because this is like an official like Ghostbusters.com um, merch, and it's like a two piece. Um, well, it's a one piece. But these are shorts at the bottom, long sleeve with a hood. I think it's kind of cool. Like, I haven't decided um, if I'm going to put it up yet, but I, I probably will. I think it's pretty cool, though, but it's new. There was a lot of stuff that was new with tags there, which I appreciated. Okay, and then I got some Golden State Warrior um, leggings. I think these are like a size small or something. But, yeah, these are a size small, but it has the NBA um, tag, so it's official merch. And you know, there's a market for sports memorabilia. So, and then I also got this. Um, it's a Warriors jersey, tank jersey. Gonna put that up. I think this is like women's as well. Yeah, the official licensed apparel. So, yeah. Um, thought it was worth a shot. Then I got this Warrior shirt too. Um, this one is probably going to be the best selling one, but this is a Nike, um, a Nike dry fit cotton tee with tags, with the tags. Okay. It's an NBA collab and it was 40 bucks. So 
I'll probably try to get 25, 30 for it. 25, I'll be happy with 25. That would pay, like I said, for everything that I bought. And then I kind of got this one for myself too, but I'm gonna see how it, I looked it up and basically it's like a local brand here in LA called uh, Power and Wealth. And that's really aligned with my values. So I think I really got this for myself. But that's okay because I got so much stuff that can sell to pay for it that it's awesome. So I can't wait to get these items up on the site. Let me just count real quick with you guys with how much stuff I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I pretty much got 11 items. So I paid about two bucks per item. So I think that that's really great. I would have had to at least pay like four or five dollars for these shirts and then for the hoodies they probably would have been trying to charge like ten dollars so it's really a win and i think that it'll do well like you know everything doesn't have to sell at a super high rate for it to be a profit i'm focused on being profitable i want to have a lot of 20 plus um profit items in my store but this is better than the stuff that i was going to be listing on um that i gave away earlier because those things I, they just i'm not trying to have stuff in there that i know is going to sit for a long time just because i'm trying to get rid of it some stuff is just better off just to give it to goodwill but i am happy that i listed things um oh and i i will show you guys maybe later but i actually have been getting so many things too like i had a friend donate like a lot of stuff like he actually um works near the trains um that transport things so sometimes stuff will get left and they can take home like the extras and he hooked me up with some brand new vans uh like a couple brand new vans with tags like um one is kids one was like toddlers i got some um baby dress shoes that were brand new that went up on the site what else um oh and some really nice shoes that go for like 140 you could buy them at like nordstrom's macy's like really upscale shoes brand new it with the box never been worn um threw those on the site brand new so i'm expecting like really good returns with that so I have a lot of good things, a lot of good listings going up, and I'm excited to see how much more I can just refine my taste so that like my items are really just hot commodities. And once I start to sell maybe a couple items per day consistently every single day, because I have been doing well, I have have a few things that have already will sell because of the um, auction. So people who actually put their bids in and stuff like that. So I have a few items that are about to go um this week um this upcoming week but i can't wait until i'm doing that because then i'm going to further invest and kind of just invest in my personal shop brand like you know get some thank you cards kind of put the money back into um making people want to be repeat shoppers and you know i do have an instagram i'm just i'm going to i do have an instagram for it but i'm going to connect the names and stuff like that and then when all the branding is the same i'll put it like you know follow us on instagram if you want to see what's going on what's uploaded today because i can very easily just upload my cover photos for my um, products and then just be like hey list five things a day and just put the pictures and say new up on my shop or whatever put the the link in there and everything and like call it a complete win you know just an extra form of promotion for people who actually do buy things from me consistently they can just go ahead and follow me on instagram as well if they're really into having cute thrifts and they like what i'm picking up so yeah just another way um and i will also put the instagram and stuff like that in the links in the future videos once everything is set up and ready to go because i do want to also build that platform because i see myself doing this i think it's really cool I like that I can help save clothes. I, I, I've i always had a passion for recycling. Ever since I was a kid, I used to collect cans and um, bottles around the neighborhood for recycling. I did recycling a bit like when I first moved here. I would like to do it more, but um, kind of fell off of that. But I've always really been up to like upcycling, 
reusing i definitely reuse glasses and stuff like that that i get from the store any mason jars that come with groceries and stuff i try to keep them save them and reuse them for like storing different things so i really like it i really like it and i think that this aligns with my values and it's a really cool business that you can do without having like a lot of overhead like um i am gonna have to invest and get some storage some more storage like the bins and stuff like that but i'm trying to just take it a day at a time and kind of just let myself see some more profits because i do have some money that's stored in my account but um i'm still setting up verifying my bank account i have to wait for the micro deposits um to hopefully have everything link up and sync up so that i can start receiving the funds to my account but overall i'm really happy i've been making good money um it's taking off for sure and i can see how um beneficial it can be to consistently be uploading items because you just never know what people are looking for and it's just like if you have it in your possession and you find something cool try to get it up as soon as possible so my goal is to get back on track tomorrow today is sunday and i'm going to be going out with my friend to dinner for her birthday it's been my birthday weekend so i've been completely off my regular routine and schedule but i'm so excited to get back on it as of tomorrow when i go to bed tonight whenever i get home i'm going to wake up and i'm going to get right back on it doing my five listings a day making sure that i'm doing my vocal um warm-ups every day and all this stuff like i really get into my routines but i try not to make myself feel guilty for like getting out of it and living every now and then because it's like life isn't just about work and like being productive <laughs> but yeah so if you guys like this video, um, definitely, definitely subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be showing you guys um, what I get up on the site. We'll, we'll go back on and I'll show you guys like the things that are selling and stuff like that. Go through my portal. I'll go through like how I price these items in my next video where after I list everything, I'll just get on my laptop, do a screen record video just like I did um, to show you guys what went up last week. I did that video like almost... A week and a half two weeks ago so um, it's time to get another one up soon and uh, yeah i think that's gonna be it for me you guys um i'll see you guys in the next video bye